Hi, I'm Steve Jabo, and I'm a preparator in the Department of Paleobiology, and I'm one of the people who's working on the Triceratops mount. The old mount was a composite mount, meaning it was made up of several different skeletons. Each color in this drawing of the Triceratops skeleton represents a different individual of Triceratops that was used to make the original mount. The result was that many bones were mismatched. Two really obviously mismatched bones are the humeri, or the upper arm bones. You can see that the right humerus is much larger than the left humerus. The right humerus is the correct size, so we surface scanned it and created a mirror image to make a left humerus. We used a milling machine to give us a hard copy of the left humerus that we'll now use for our new mount. Some of the other bones were actually missing when they mounted the skeleton, and so preparators sculpted them as best they could. We think we can do a better job now using the computer. We use the same mirror imaging technique with data from a real bone to create a replacement, in this case a new left ilium or hip bone from the original right ilium. One of the other things that we noticed about our skeleton is that the skull seemed like it was a little bit too small for the rest of the bones in the mount. This is fairly common. You hardly ever find a triceratops skull with the rest of the skeleton because of the way they are preserved. We took the scan data from the original skull and had it created 15% larger. Instead of a 6-foot skull, we'll now have a 7-foot skull on our new mount. One of the other problems we had with our old mount is that when they mounted it, they didn't have real Triceratops rear feet, and so they used duckbill dinosaur rear feet. Back in the early 1990s, complete Triceratops feet were finally found. We can replace our old feet with casts of the real Triceratops feet. 